I've got the caliper on. The proper caliper. The one I wanted. The Magora one. It's done. I had to buy in the end. It's not tightened yet because I need to centralise it. Uh, I had to buy another cable. Cable? Why do I keep calling these cables? I had to buy another hydraulic hose for it, a complete hose and reroute absolutely everything. I'm not going into details, but I had to do it. Version 2 was an absolute nightmare because if you pull the rotor out, um, it was catching on the frame. And if I don't have if if, uh, if I pulled the rotor out on version two any more than it is uh, normal, fuck. on version two, <laughs> on version two, I had a bit of a problem because the rotor or the disc was actually too close to the motor, and that the there was no clearance on the uh, on the caliper. So I had to pull it out a bit. Now I pulled it out a bit and it was catching on the frame. I think on the front uh, front of the swing arm there. So it was a fine a fine line between catching on the motor and catching on the disc, catching on the frame. But I've done it now. It's fantastic. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the clearance? Plenty of clearance there now. So that's on, that works sort of, still needs bleeding a bit more. These Magura brakes, they're a nightmare to bleed them, absolute nightmare. Side stands fitted, just for testing purposes, because it's lighter. Oh, hang on. I'm getting a bit worried. I am very worried actually. I thought this was going to be the bike, obviously the battery's removable. And I thought the bike was going to be around about 26, 27 kilo, which I thought, you know, I can lift that, it's not a problem. Version 2, all in, because the batteries weren't removable, was 42 kilo. And by the time you get that up two flights of stairs, your legs are buckling, believe me. Now, this, without the battery, weighs 38 kilo, which... I'm going to struggle. I've still got a bad back, believe it or not. It still hurts on a daily basis and I don't know what the hell to do. So what I decided was I'd take the saddle off and put another one on. Now I've got this... Um, there's no light on this, there's no nothing on it. This is off eBay, this... Um, what do you call it now? Post. Seat post, that was the one. Uh, this seat post was off eBay, the cheapest one I could find, and he sold quite a few thousand of them. But it's fantastic. I've just got to move it forward, move the saddle forward a bit because it's a bit back. So that's for testing. That's going to go on there. I've still got to do the battery terminals. They're the last thing I'm going to do. It'll only take half an hour. Do you like my mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got to have one um, for the MSVA. It's e marked, it has to, sit, to stick out a certain amount, it has to be a certain amount away from any other things. I, I don't know if it has to be able to fold out of the way on impact. Well, this is. Oh. I think I might have to tighten that up. Well done, Tony. I don't know about it. I really don't. I mean, it's not it's not fully done up because I need to lie the bike like that. I've done the hazard warning. That's working perfectly. The speedo still isn't finished. Um, I've mounted. I've printed a three. I three D minted the I three D printed a mount for it. Uh, which simply see those holes in the down pieces, can you? Yeah, they go over there and it wraps around there perfectly. And then I've got a, a double sided sort of stuff, I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but that's that. GPS uh, receivers on there. This, although it's not point at it, this 
although it's not perfect, is the belly pan. Around here there's a piece of closed cell neoprene that I've put all the way around. And the only problem is sealing this hole up the top. Point to the bloody thing, Tony. The only trouble is, is this hole here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to seal it. It's not screwed on yet, whereas there's only four screws holding it on, so I've got all those to... It's not screwed on yet. Well, there's only four screws, and I've got all those to put in. And then the idea is I'm going to put a piece of uh, covering on the top of that. Somebody mentioned about printing, uh, doing some TPU grommets. Grommets, Tony. Somebody mentioned something about printing some uh, TPU. Fuck, I'm really struggling to speak today. Somebody's... Fuck. Somebody mentioned... I should print some TPU grommets, 3D print some TPU grommets. I can't remember what I wasn't going to do. <laughs> oh God, I know what I'm doing. I don't feel well. I don't, just don't feel right today. I don't know why. I think it was the amount of alcohol that I consumed last night. This is the belly pan. It's not finished. Actually, it's finished, you dickhead. These are LEDs. I got quite, I got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> I got green, I got blue, I got amber, I got red somewhere. Red somewhere. These things are fantastic because there's only there's two positive wires. On these there's, there's a positive and negative. They I had to get these from a separate different supplier. On these there's two red wires. I've figured out that there's two LEDs in it which is very clever thinking about it so it doesn't matter which way you actually uh, put them but they're supposed to be waterproof. The reason why I've got these is because I want to do my own switch panel. I want to do my own indicator panel with the telltales and everything else and I've also got um, I don't know how big it is but it's uh, an analog you know the old analog dial gauge speedo coming which is a GPS speedo now when it comes I'm gonna make my own proper switch panel not switch panel LED light indicator telltale thing panel anyway it was sent to it's 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 f***ing bollocks it was an email off Banggood and uh, they, they, they said do you want to review this and that they're, they're going to send me a GPS speedo and it was supposed to arrive before the one that I've got on the bike at the minute now when it does arrive and I make my switch panel there's no urgency to make it that's what I'm going to use because I made it and I like a dial it goes up to 80 mile an hour and the idea is I want to bend that needle to the scale. So I've got that to do and apart from that that's it.